Now to Two Americas, where we show you the side of America you may be familiar with and the one you may not. We've all heard of new homes built around a golf course, but what about a farm? Tonight, we're focused on the importance of the farm to table lifestyle and community. Julia Fellow introduces us to the first agrihood in our state. Here you go. Four mamas, four that will be, that are pregnant right now. This may look like a rural beef farm, but it is Kurt Wiebelhaus's backyard. We couldn't have dreamed it as, as well as it is. Ten beautiful homes sit on 40 acres of land in McGuanago. All the homeowners bought in on the same idea of an agrihood. If you've never heard of this before, just think of the words agriculture and neighborhood put together. Cows are not the only neighbors that they share this space with. So are the bees and chickens. I have eight, so 20. You can cross that out and make it 20. Everybody's followed through and it's and it's working. Yes. You want to hand me a couple? Cassie Ziller moved here from Waukesha County with her son and husband. I love taking um, food from seed all the way through harvest and getting to show my son that process and that growth and helping him understand where food comes from. Angie Paluchek had never been near a chicken before moving here from Oak Creek. Oh, you got more in there? She is so happy her children will grow up here. Having our kids to be able to grow up and learning where all that comes from is pretty incredible. The piece that really is like the cherry on top that's been beautiful is the neighbors, how, how much of a family we are together. An idea that the Weeble House has discovered in a magazine article that bloomed into this as they await a third season of new fruits and vegetables that will soon begin to sprout. In McGuanago, Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News. All right, Julia, thanks. According to the Urban Land Institute, there are 90 agrihoods in the United States, but this is the only one in Wisconsin.